This is also Abby. She's a lovely little 40-foot traditional style narrowboat built in 1991 by Neil Hudson. She was grip blasted, metal sprayed and two-pack epoxied back in November 2016. That was done at Debdale. Four new anodes put on at the time. She was last serviced in August 2021 this year. Paint works in very nice condition. That rear deck is three and a half feet long. There's a solar panel on the roof there. I'm guessing it's about 100, 120 watts. Not exactly sure. And for a 40 foot boat, there's, there's a fair bit of space and storage in, in her. All quite practically thought out. Gas bottles in that forward locker. There are two 13 kilo propanes and one 15 kilo butane. The gas locker was repainted in 2016. The floor, I think it was a new floor put in actually. Here comes Bumble. Nice well deck, three foot eight inches long, some nice wooden seats on each side, glazed cratch board. There is a cratch cover on this, it rolls up and sits on the beam at the top. I've rolled it up for the sake of the photographs. And into the saloon, eight feet three inches long, the boat's carpeted throughout. Nice and warm and cosy couple of chair beds there, they're very comfortable to sit on and they, each of them turns into a bed. Shelves either side of the front doors here. And there's storage in a the step there. It's a stainless steel water tank under the well deck. That's one of two radiators on board. The central heating is a Makuni diesel fired central heating system. And there's also a, a gas heater on, on the cabin side, starboard side in the saloon here. Supposed to be very effective. Good sized cupboard there under the kitchen counter. And just for the record, Bumble was just starting to cock his leg there. He did not actually have a wee. I shouted at him <laughs> and he stopped, but he nearly did. Anyway, into the galley. He's never weed on a boat yet. Five feet long. Some good cupboard space in here. That's a Paloma instant water heater. Stainless steel sink. No, sorry, I thought that was a cupboard. A cupboard door, but it's not, it's here. Hot water on the boat, there's two sources. The engine heats the chlorophyll, and that Paloma water heater, you just turn on the hot tap and the gas heats the water. The cooker itself, that was new in 2016, it's a Voyager Deluxe. And the fridge there is a 12 volt Vitri fridge with an ice box. The cooker's a two burner gas hob, and there's an oven and grill on it as well. And there's the view down the boat. So on we go. This is a dinette area. Storage underneath each of the benches. This actually is the double bed as well on board. So this makes up into a double, six foot three inches long. Covers over each end. So as she stands, it's, it's a full berth bed, that double bed and um, the two chair beds. It's a wardrobe here, floor to ceiling. And the bathroom is next. The curtain shower area. The loser Setford Porter Potty. And opposite that is the wash basin. And there's the second of the two radiators I mentioned. And then the engine room's at the back. It's quite spacious in here. The engine's under here. This was brand new in 2015. It's a Beta Marine 38. There's less than 1,200 hours on the clock. Hospital silencer. The bank of batteries is under my feet, actually, on the starboard side. There's two domestics, one starter, all 110 amp hours. That's the controller for the solar power. There is a little inverter on board. It sits next to the batteries. I've got no idea what size it is, what, what the output is, and we don't even know if it works or not, nor does the owner. So I think effectively speaking, the boat has no inverter, but there's one there that, that could produce some 230 volts. Most of the lighting is LED. There's a couple of lights that aren't, one in the bathroom and the one in the engine room. And she's got all the necessary navigation equipment on board, piling irons, windlasses, hammer, that sort of thing. So there we go. Charming little boat, I think. Also Abby, 
For further photographs, a fully downloadable brochure and the prize go to our website www.rugbyboats.co.uk.